Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today is equipment trailer day. We've had several requests for uh, equipment trailers, which we call equipment trailers. It can be bumper pull or gooseneck, the deck down between the tires traditionally. So 82 inches of bed width between the fenders. Um, and in some cases, um, like we've got the uh, you know 102 wide package or what we're calling the max width package and drive over fenders as well. So, but it can be traditional ramps or tilt is what we're looking at today. Traditional ramps being the LPX, low profile extreme uh, equipment trailer, and then HDT is the hydraulic damp and tilt. The other ones, if you look on our website that are in the equipment trailer section are deck overs, which we covered in a different, uh, different video. Look that up, there's a deck over guide. We kind of talked about the few different styles of deck overs we have. But today, specifically, we're looking at LPX and we're looking at HDT. So those GVWRs range from 14,900 to 24,000 pounds, several packages in between. You know, in that, there's different uh, axle configurations, different uh, axle ratings, how many axles, and then also, you know, standard I-beam, engineered I-beam. So we'll kind of look through those different things today. So starting off, We've got uh, a couple of LPXs here. This is the basically a standard LPX, the HD lid, which has been so popular on LPX and HDT for quite a while. You know, that doubles as extended deck space or has a ton of storage space inside. That's standard on both of the trailers we're gonna look at today in bumper pool. This one is probably 22 feet long. In the 14K or 14,900 rating, like this green one, uh, and then even in the HDT, which we'll look at in a little bit, both of those in standard 14,000 trim use the eight inch, 10 pound I beam. Solid design, we've been doing it for quite a while, Pioneers in using the I beam for these equipment trailers. When you're talking the 14,000 rating, it doesn't, doesn't so much justify the engineered beam just yet. The lighter, stronger, you know, comes into play when we start talking about bumping from 14,900 to 18,000 to 20,000 to 24,000. That's when you'll see the engineer beam come into play. So this is the standard eight inch, 10 pound I beam on this one, 14 gauge tray plate fenders, like I said, 82 inches between the width. Now there are several different loading configurations for loading styles for the LPX. On this one, you can see it is the max ramps which is very similar to what you find on our big f max series trailers or even on the dec that we looked at they're built the same way but they're just a mini version there's a two two-part hinge and spring assembly just like on the big max ramps that make them uh lifting them very easy it you know uh off the bed and off again off the ground the cool thing about the max ramps just like on the big trailers if you need to load your anything that's long long material you don't have obstructions like you know the normal knee ramps that is kind of, that's the standard you don't have that with max ramps that you can lay them flat and you can use the full length as flat deck space if you're hauling long material lumber steel what have you but they do come with a bar to where you can stand the ramp up in the in the vertical position so if you have say you load a tractor that has a little mower behind a uh, brush hog it can stay here no big deal the ramp stands straight up and it can be pinned in place so you've got max ramps as an option then looking at this one we'll go ahead and look at this one it's got some other stuff we need to talk about but the standard ramp for an LPX, if you go on our website and you look at just the standard setup, it's gonna be a two foot dove with traction cleats like we see. And then it's gonna be this 24 inch wide, 60 inch long HD knee ramp. It's a three inch, uh, four inch channel ramp, the heavy two inch square tube cross supports, number six grade exp expanded metal loading surface, which makes it super heavy duty, great for loading track machines, skid steers, you know, uh, excavators, things like that. But obviously you're somewhat limited because you have the space between them. There is a little bit of area to slide, but they don't come all the way together. So that's a beauty of, you know, max ramp. You get a much more full width loading experience. Whereas on the standard, which works for a lot of people and they like it for the simplicity of just unpin it, let it down, put it back up. This is the standard ramp. Very heavy duty, gonna last a long time. Uh, you know, compare this to a lot of what you see in the market, far different. I mean, just extremely stout. 
and rugged to match the trailer. There is one more design. Let's see. I don't see any right around here. Is a straight deck option, which means there's no dovetail and then uh there is just sliding ramps on the straight deck so much more of kind of a car hauler vibe there not as popular yeah, that's why i don't see any out here hardly anybody it takes kind of more of a specialty need for that trailer uh most people go with the dove and ramps whether it's max ramps or the heavy duty knee ramps on the lpx as well we talked about you know width between the fenders a while ago so the standard, there's still 82 inches. There's 82 inches is what's standard. And that's whether it, uh, the 14K or the 24K, we, our goal is as wide as between the fenders as we can get. So there's 82. When you do drop axles, there's one package, the 18K package with drop axles, it goes to like 80 inches. And it's because of the size of the hub and being drop axles. But on the LPX, you have the option for the max width, 102. And you can see it adds inches in front of the in front and behind the fender on each side. That's for guys who maybe they're using it most of the time hauling a skid steer or whatnot or equipment and then need the ability to side load material, maybe pallets, and need the you know extended decks deck width, but also it lets you say double over and haul, you know, a high, you know, high sitting truck or a buggy hauler is what a lot of people call them it gives you the ability like on this one it's got the 3 16 drive over fenders it gives you the ability to actually drive up and over the fenders if need be if you've got a vehicle that's got a real wide you know stance to it so that's a really popular option on the website it's called frame extensions and we're about to change that to what's going to be called the max width package but right now it's frame extensions and drive over fenders is what you would need to select to get the buggy hauler style so that's one of the you know one of the very popular options to get that extra bed width when we talk about the um, like the heavier packages a lot of these have you know it's kind of give and take some of them have the 14k package it just depends on what you know what kind of job you're looking to do is how you decide on what kind of gvwr package you're, you're wanting but i wanted to give you a look at this one this is a really cool lime green looks very similar to what we looked at over there the thing about this one is though it is the engineered beam because it is a 18k gvwr so it's a heavy duty package you got the the 215 17.5s heavy duty tires come with this you know it's a 16 ply tire but if you notice you can kind of see the contour of the frame and that means this is an engineered beam frame. This uses the same engineered beam technology that we have developed for the F-Max series is where we started. We've integrated it into equipment trailers like this LPX, into the HDT tilt, into the dump trailers, and it's doing the same thing. It's putting the metal where it needs to be to be the most effective, not just taking a standard old I-beam and hacking it up to try and make it do what we wanna do. We start from the ground up, we design the I-beam, we're able to have control over the height of the I-beam, the thickness of the material, and every bit of the beam on that trailer and every style that we offered on is very intentional on how it's designed to perform a certain job for that weight, that length, for that classification of trailer. So next, we will move into the HDT. So the HDT is very similar uh, to the LPX in the way that it's constructed. Standard is eight by 10 I-beam frame. Again, you get into the higher GVWRs and you go to engineered platform, engineered beam platform. This one, real pretty metallic gray. You look at the front and you're like, hey, that's very, very similar. Where it gets different is right here. This is actually a tilt bed instead of ramps. You know, tilts over the last few years have just exploded in popularity. You know, more and more, it's kind of like hydraulic dovetails. It's like different things with pickups with remote tailgates and things like that. It just makes, when you're doing a specific job, hauling a machine, like on this trailer, it makes it super seamless and quick because it's there's no ramps to put up or down, you know, anything like that. Obviously, it's like anything else. You pay a little more up front. A tilt's generally gonna cost more than a trailer with ramps that's equally uh, equipped as far as the axles and stuff. So. It's a gravity tilt, 
you can get a power tilt as well to force it up and down but like in this case it's a gravity tilt you unlock the bed step on the back and the tail right there just goes real smooth down to the ground no matter if it's got just you on it or if it's got more weight on it but then when you drive your machine up the bed it slowly starts coming back down in which there is a speed control valve on the side that helps helps with that as well like if you want to slow it down just crack the valve there's your handle for unlocking the bed so it'll tilt this one the only thing really extra on this one it's got a couple of extra d-rings on it it's got the rubber on stake pocket option which is nice for tie down it's got this one has torsion axles 17.5 heavy duty wheels and tires this is 7k axles but we have a heavy duty tire package where you can get the the 16 ply 215s an option to look at when you're outfitting one this one has 3 16 super heavy duty fenders very similar to the one we looked at a while ago with the drive overs but these are just meant obviously there's not extensions on the show so these are just meant to be heavy duty in a work environment. I mean, especially if you have crews running your stuff, I've seen fenders, I've, growing up in the trailer business, I've seen fenders mangled, you know, from, from machines and from loading and stuff. It's a cheap investment, cheap insurance is what I like to call it because for a couple, few hundred bucks, a couple hundred bucks, those fenders are just crazy, crazy strong. I mean, for what they're, you know, for what the intent is and that's protecting the tires, obviously and then covering it so there you know it's inevitable you work a trailer hard now and, it, and you may touch the fenders with the machine or whatnot if you have crews running it and it's just protecting your investment to pay a little more but to get a super strong fender so those are available on lpx's hdt's dump trailers it, anything that has a fender on it like that pretty well on our website has that 3 16 option so it's something to look look for you know when you're doing when you're searching or building your trailer the HDTs are the same in that they've got all of the different, you know, the upgrades on GVWRs. Let's see, there's a couple of more LPXs. Hmm. Looking for a, I'm looking for an HDT. Bear with me. Looking for an HDT that has a frame upgrade. That way we can, uh, yeah i can show you the engineer beam it looks similar but just so you kind of know like here's a cement gray one cement gray hdt looks like it's got 8k axles for the 18k gvwr this one has the the same you see it has the hd lid but again it's got the way you can tell it's got the contoured frame of over the suspension so this is an engineer beam um, frame as well on the tilt they're preset with the stationary deck. This part does not move. This part is a tilt. So on a 20 footer, you're gonna have four foot of stationary, 16 foot tilt on a 22, 16 and six. It, the, your 16 foot on your tilt pretty much always stays the same. So just kind of food for thought there as far as the, you know, the size of, of attachments you have, because that's what the stationary deck is for. You can put a pallet there of goods. You can store maybe a bucket. You can store forks, that kind of thing. You can put right there on the stationary deck, just strap down, and that's going to get you to the job site. Gives you a place that obviously doesn't move whenever you're trying to load equipment. So that's a good, a good feature that varies to be mindful of when you're gonna build an equipment trailer. So I hope this video was very insightful for you to kind of touch on all things, you know, bumper pool equipment. And we'll, we'll do a, a kind of a slide over right here where you can see, you know, an LPX HCT, one of the two with um, the gooseneck package. It comes with the engineered I-beam toolbox between the, the neck uprights. You know, that's available as well if you, if you prefer gooseneck over bumper pool from the frame and the, you know, the main frame and the working platform loading the machine, all of the loading options are, it's all the same on a gooseneck. You just take the front end, you know, where the HD lid is off and that's the engineer gooseneck. So we'll show you that here in a rollover, but I appreciate your time. Uh, make sure to jump on diamondc.com. You can look at LPX's, HDT's, go through all the build your own features, see what all is available. There's tons of stuff, you know, that we didn't cover in this basics guide that are available different options uh disc brakes hydraulic powered hydraulic systems different things hydraulic jacks so you can learn a lot more there 
Make sure to check out the Learning Center on our website. Tons of very good, rich uh, information there that you can learn more about who we are, what we do, and why we do it. We'll see you on the road.